the, the Defender Challenge is evolving really well. This is our first hill rally. A hill rally is specific to four-wheel drive vehicles. It's much rougher, much tougher, wide variety of terrain and an endurance event as well. So you're racing at least twice as far on a hill rally as a stage rally. Defender Challenge is all about learning the disciplines of rallying going forward. So some of these guys um, who have fought through the year will progress and do amazing things like the uh, Dakar Rally and, and big international rally raids. Some of them are just here to have fun. So there's an enormous sense of camaraderie through, throughout all the teams and uh, fits the spirit of adventure for Land Rover. The atmosphere on the Defender Challenge is very unique. Um, I've been involved with off-roading all my life. Some of these guys, girls, have. this is their first year, first season in racing. We're all supportive, even though we're competing, we, we want to compete in the, the real way. With the other drivers in the series, it's, it's been great to see some of them develop and, and learn about others. You know, a, a few I know, some of the, the bowler crew that have been helping out the driving and having on different events. It's been a great rival between. We all discuss how the car is and the stages are. Most of them I'm not nervous because I know that I'm prepared to do it. But you know, you get excited, you get a bit of an adrenaline kick before it, and that's what I like most about it. Well, the hill rally is a horrendously rough, steep climbs, water over the bonnet, catching cars every single stage, so you've got to be mindful of stones. You never know what's going to happen with the weather. The attrition rate is amazing. And yet again, the Defender is doing everything I asked of it and more. It's proving to be exactly what we wanted it to be, a very friendly, manageable, low-cost entry into racing uh, where we can give people as much support as they want and but at the same time they're really developing and growing as drivers and, and co-drivers. Well, the Defender, uh, we're all used to them going down the farm track, uh, but we're now putting them down the racetrack, which is fantastic. The Kumo tyres, the Bilstein suspension, the dampening speeds, everything about the suspension just feels right. The integrated roll cage that Bowler obviously fit in there, the tune they put on the uh, engine, the torque curve. You've only got to see the big V8s that we've uh, overtook, gone past, and they can't catch us anymore, which is a testament to the Defender's brand name and everything about the Bowler. Um, two great brands come together. The Defenders have been fabulous in the fact that the durability and reliability has been great. I can genuinely say, apart from crash damage, we've had to replace nothing. And the performance is just incredible. We've opened a lot of people's eyes as to what essentially a standard car can do whether it's modified in the correct way. The very first, act of the first time check, we have to do a river crossing. And you know, at that point, everything changes. You know, I, I simply sort of couldn't do that in anything other than something like, like the Defender. So yeah, it's, it's um, uh, a mega bit of kit, and I'm staggered. Some of the abuse that has taken, you sort of you, you wince, and you sort of, you know, I think we're taking more of a pummeling inside it than um, the Defender is outside. It's a greatly compliant car. It's got some great attitude. The spectators out there absolutely love it. It's all about that. It's showing the worldwide how good a Defender, how capable it is in everything. Well, 2015 will be year two of the Defender Challenge. We're running a number of the same races, a number of new races. We're going overseas, we'll be racing in Spain and Morocco, and we've got another three competitors already signed up. So we're running a minimum of 12, potentially 15 competitors next year. So it'll be very busy.